Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to design a scroll animated bar counters with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is to create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. So we're gonna name our page, use Divi Builder. So for this design, we're going to build from scratch. So I'm gonna click on start building and we're going to need two equal columns. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And we're just gonna close this for now. So next we're gonna come over here to our section settings, click on this gear icon, click on background. And here we're going to add our background color. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors as I am using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the tutorial in the show notes below. Okay, so now that I've added this, the next step now is to add our spacing. So I'm going to come over here to design spacing. So what we need to do is to first of all, add some margins because for this animation to work uh, on scroll, it needs to have space on the top and the bottom. Uh, but in your case, the space that we're going to add on the top and the bottom can be other content on your page. We just need to create enough space for this animation to scroll and take effect. So we're going to add 80 VH and we are also going to do the same to the bottom. Now we also need to add some padding to our section and this is going to be 10 VW. All right, so we're going to apply this both to the top and the bottom as well. So now that I've added this, the next step now is to go into our row settings. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to save. And then over here now, I'm going to click on this gear icon to go into our row settings, click on design, and then we're going to go into sizing. So first things first, we need to add our width, which is going to be 90%. And we also need to add our maximum width. And this is going to be 700 pixels. Now we need to go to the advanced tab and click on visibility. So here we need to add our horizontal overflow. So at the moment it's set to default. We need this to hidden. And we also need to do the same for the vertical overflow as well. Now let's save. And in our first column here, we need to add our bar. And this is going to be a divider module. So I want to search for divider here and select it. And then here where it says show divider, we want to say no to that. And we may also need to label this. So let's call this bar background. Okay. Now let's give this a color. So I'm going to come over here to background and the color we're going to add in here is going to have some transparency. So let's drag the second slider down a little bit and um, paste our value in here. And again, the value of these colors will be added in the video description below. So now that we've added this, we need to add our width to our divider here. So I'm going to come over here to design sizing. So our width here is going to be 300 pixels. And we also need to add a height to this. And our height here is going to be 70 pixels. Okay. All right. So the next step is to duplicate our divider module. So I'm going to come over here and duplicate it. And now let's go into the settings. So for this one here, we're going to go to the background. We're going to come over here to our gradient and add our gradient colors. So I'm going to add my first color by clicking here on this plus button. And over here is where my color is going to go. So I'm going to paste my color in here. Now it's time to add my second color. So I'm going to come over here, replace the gray with my second color. Great. The next step now is to set my gradient direction, making sure it's set to linear. Over here, we're going to set it to 90 degrees. Now let's head over here to the advanced tab and click on position. So what we need to do now is to change our position from uh, default to absolute. And we also need to set our Z index to one. Now it's time to go to our scroll effects. So I'm going to come over here to scroll effects and the option we're going to go with is horizontal motion. So I'm going to select it and make sure it's enabled. Now I need to add my values. So I'm going to start with my starting offset and this needs to be minus three. And then over here in the middle offset is going to be minus 2.25. And the ending is also going to be the same. Now over here on the top, we're going to make sure our viewport is adjusted as well. So the, so the first part here is going to be 25%. And I'm just going to leave the rest as they are. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to add another module. And this module here is going to be a blurb. I'm going to select it. So for my title here, I'm going to call this 25%. For my body text, I'm going to add optimization. And then for my icon here, I need to make sure use icon is selected. 
and I'm going to search for the icon I'm going to use for this and it's going to be a mobile phone and here it is now let's head over to the design tab now here on the design tab we need to go to image and icon and first of all set our color so we're going to make our icon color here white and then for our icon placement we're going to place this to the left and then what we're going to do next is to use icon font size now this allows us to adjust our size so for our size we're going to set this to 40 pixels so it's nice and small and it fits into place now let's head over to our text color so i'm going to target the 25 percent here click on this uh, paintbrush tool and um, we are going to make this all caps so for our text color here i'm going to set this to light okay so next for the body text we are going to uh, set this to aerobic so i'm going to search for it and select it we're going to set this to all caps and for the letter spacing we're going to set this to 0.2 em and for the line height we're going to set this to one now let's head over to sizing now here for our content width we're going to set this to 100 percent and for our width it's going to be 300 pixels and for our height we're going to set this to 70 and for our padding we're going to set our padding top and uh, padding left so i'm going to scroll down here until i go to spacing and i am going to set this now to 15 pixels and for the left it's going to be the same as well 15 pixels now let's head over to advanced position now we're going to change this position from default to absolute and now we can see our text here is inside this area which is fantastic now for this to be above everything we need to adjust our z index and this time we're going to set this to two so now you can see that our icon is above everything so pretty much we're done here i'm going to go ahead and save Okay, so what we're going to do next now is to add more bar counters. So I'm going to come over here, open up my layers. So I'm going to collapse this and we can see that in our row here, we have these columns. So what we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate our column. So I'm going to come over here and duplicate it. And now we have two similar columns. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our bar background. So I'm going to click on this gear icon. Now we're in our background. So I'm going to go into my design here. Next, we're going to go into our gradient and start adding our colors. So I'm going to add my first color here. And I'm just going to replace this orangey color with my new color. And by the way, if you want to use the exact same colors I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so let's add our second color. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, override this one here. So now you can see on the bottom here, this has updated. Next, we are going to now adjust our scroll effects. So I'm going to come over here to advanced, click on scroll effects, and then make sure that you have horizontal selected. So all we have to do now is to go in and make some minor adjustments. So here we're going to have minus 1.5 and then we're going to save. Next, we're going to come over here to our blurb. So in our blurb, we're going to make a few uh, changes here. So we're going to change this from 25 to 50 percent. Now let's look for our icon. So I'm going to come over here to image an icon. And this time I'm looking for an iPad. So I'm going to select that. Okay, so once we've added all this, we're going to save. So if you wanted to add more, as you can see here, this one here is going up to 50% and this one here is 25%. All you have to do now is to duplicate these and change these values. So you can change, duplicate this one here, change it to 75 and so on. Now, once you've changed that, you also need to add, change the content on your scroll effects and also change the colors so that um, at least you can see some distinctions on these and of course making sure you change your blurb content now once you're done you can just uh, finalize by adding a uh, an image here in the background if you wanted to uh, add a bit of styling to this so i'm going to come over here to the background and uh, over here i'm going to choose my image now i already have an image that i have here so i'm going to select my image click on upload and now we have an image there in the background and if I close out of here, now you can see our full design. So just make sure you duplicate these, add your values, add your icon. And once you're done, your design should look something like this. And when you scroll as well, you will be able to see 
the bar counter scrolling as well. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.